Guys, Black Clover is absolutely glorious right now when it comes to highlighting our various characters and their progression with these current fights. At this point, it's beginning to feel as though the Dark Triad themselves will be a sort of precursor to even more strenuous events to come, similarly to the Elf Invasion arc, which soon became a battle against a high-ranking devil. Now, the Dark Triad is able to compel us emotionally to an extent because of what they put our characters and their loved ones through, but considering how interconnected the whole Zagri thing was, I don't doubt that what's to come, perhaps the devils that possess the Dark Triad members themselves, will be just as, if not more, interesting. With the previous chapter, Noelle and Gaja swiftly entered the fray, as Noelle in particular had her power specifically augmented by way of the Water Spirit Undyne. This being a power she was instructed by Dryad to obtain prior to her mastery of ultimate magic. As it turns out, because of Vanika's curse magic, Undyne's contract with Lolopechka was temporarily disabled, allowing her to relocate to Noelle's grimoire as she was worthy of such a power. With this, a stage of magic exclusive to spirit hosts and capable of destroying devils would be available to her, known as Saint Stage. Now, as expressed by Noelle, this is something Undyne could have very well taught Yuno, Fugelion, or hell, even her host, Lolopechka. But she apparently didn't do so because Lolopechka lacked combat potential. She was too pure and too kind. Virtues that Undyne sought to protect and preserve. But at this point, with all that has happened, she now regrets such a decision greatly. So from here, despite their differences, the two would join forces to quell the devil threat and get back Lolopechka. In the present, Vanika was absolutely losing her mind with battle crazed joy. But in seeing a controlled Lolopechka cry, the shared fury of Noel and Undyne would be awoken, as an insane pressure was released and followed by a new transformation. What is now known as Spirit Dive Saint Valkyrie Armor. With this latest chapter, the majesty of this new power was enough to make the eyes of Vanika bulge open as she was getting chills just looking at her. But this is the sort of thing that a battle junkie like Vanika lives for, and so by way of her blood magic, similarly to not with his shadow magic, she would conjure forth a number of minions. These beastly red creatures then charging towards Noelle, who in a single jaunt was able to effortlessly dispatch them all. For Noelle to have done this, Vanika could barely contain her excitement. Their battle in the Heart Kingdom was amazing, sure, but this, now this was even greater than that. From this new power to the look of intensity in her eyes, Vanika was very pleased with Noelle's progression. This was exactly what she had been waiting for. During this rush, Undyne would warn Noelle that they can't afford to slow down as she needed to win within a minute's time. Which is to say that she probably has a time limit on this power because again, this is a new acquisition. This is something that she has not had for a long time. Look at Asa, he hasn't had his devil unit form for very long and the best he can do is about 5 minutes. However, Noelle had other plans as she intended to achieve victory in a mere 30 seconds. As Vanika let off a maddened barrage of attacks, Noelle again being as fast as ever would first evade and while maintaining that same momentum, swivel over to deliver a sizable blow to the head. Vanika's every movement would be challenged and met with an attempt to take her down. They would continue to go blow for blow, ever so narrowly avoiding the attacks of one another as again Vanika was overjoyed. When she looked at Noelle, she was immediately brought back to a similar confrontation she had in the past. Not long after being possessed by her devil, she'd gone on a rampage to test its power. And in hearing rumors of a woman revered as the strongest, she couldn't help but sneak away from the Spade Kingdom and go find this person. This person who was none other than Noelle's mother. Both of them were on the verge of collapse thanks to a heated battle prior, but Vanika at least did not want it to end. And just as she continued to speak, she would be interrupted by the sound of an infant's cry. It was Ashir's children, Noelle's elder siblings, as kids. This interruption clearly wasn't to Vanika's liking, as she would question if she should just kill them first. But before then, she would question if these were in fact the children of her ever powerful opponent. And furthermore, why she would ever have children considering how powerful and strong she is. Pretty much considering them burdens and nothing more. But now, with her children endangered, Ashir would call forth the power of her grimoire, proclaiming that the greatest power in the world is when a mother protects her children. As before Vanika could even react, Ashir had already pierced right through her. 
Despite this horrendous pain, Vanaka couldn't be any happier. This wound of hers was fatal, and so unfortunately, she had to flee. She had to take the L here. But now with Noelle, Vanaka would have a chance to experience such things yet again and would cry out for even more. But it doesn't seem like she's learned her lesson here as she would call forth another red beast, only for it in the next moment to be overwhelmed and shredded by Noelle's water dragon attack. Frankly, Noelle's power superseded that of her own. Vanaka's eyes would again widen as Noelle, in swimming along the mana in the air, would approach with a look of vengeance in her eyes, ready to deliver Vanaka's punishment, and now with a sword, Noelle would pierce through Vanaka just as her mother had oh so very long ago, and that was the chapter. Now the fact that Noelle has a sword here is very cool to me. This goes to show just how much she honors and respects Asta to have chosen to wield a sword similarly to him when truly only the oddest of people use swords in this world. Or I suppose only the most remarkable people even. Now admittedly I'm hoping this isn't the true extent of Saint Stage Magic as I feel like one of the really fun things about Black Clover is how interesting a lot of the powers are despite the general simplicity of the power system. But even then, thus far, spirit powers have kind of just been a flat increase to power as opposed to anything especially unique or interesting. It's not the worst thing ever, but I can't say I entirely enjoy this brand of escalation. Seeing Noelle put in work is always a treat and seeing her mom prove her reputation is great as well. Great stuff overall and I can't wait to see Vanaka's retaliation as there is no running away from this fight here. But again, on a time limit, Noelle is going to have to finish this up quickly. And if Vanaka's attention is elsewhere, if things do indeed get a bit too close there, hopefully Charlotte and Rill can re-emerge in the battle as well. But we can't forget that Vanaka herself has an ally in the form of the ever-powerful Lolopechka. So as you can tell from my perspective, the fight isn't over just yet, but this is a massive blow for sure. If you enjoy the chapter and our coverage of it, make sure to subscribe to Plot Armor with notifications on to never miss a thing. And while you're at it, go ahead and follow us over on Twitter and Instagram at PlotArmorYT to keep up to date with all the latest and greatest anime and manga news, memes, and information. Because when it comes to bringing you some of the best Black Clover content on the platform, Plot Armor has you covered. As always, I'm Slice Botaku. Thank you all so much for watching and have an awesome day. I love you.